fireworks there. Let's see if we've got any fireworks happening on Wall Street. As we check your money and investments, your 401k, your mutual fund has been riding a recent stock surge. Even some soft economic data did not dampen investor appetite for stocks. The Dow once again within reach of 13,000. It's all about technology, though, today as key tech companies report earnings. Both Microsoft and Google reported last night and both were trading higher after hours trade. Let's check in on the big board though. We are seeing a pullback. We're seeing some weakness that developed after a couple of positive days. Right now the Dow Industrials off 76 points right now to 12,867. Let's take a look and see how some local stocks are performing. Perhaps you own these in your 401k or your mutual funds. Maybe you work for these companies. Uh, as you look at Amazon here, uh, they're actually up 37 cents. Google's released its tablet. It's Nexus 7. It is out now. And the price tag, 200 bucks. That is direct competition to Amazon's Kindle Fire, of course. Other than that, some stocks are pretty much mixed. Costco's up, Expedia trading down. Let's take a look at uh, five more stocks if we can. As we look at Microsoft, they announced the company its first quarterly loss ever as a company, as it wrote down a $6 billion acquisition of an online advertising company from a few years ago that did not pan out. But the stock as you see, is trading higher. And people are saying, why was such a bad earnings report? Well, the stock is up on strong software forecasts for its new office, its Windows 8, and its new tablet coming out. Nordstrom plans to expand into Canada, opening four cities north of the border in the near future. And look at Starbucks, a kind of a pullback there. I guess Will Ferrell in town didn't help the coffee business much yesterday when he was here promoting his movie. Our partners at the Puget Sound Business Journal report this morning on how the Health Care Reform Act that was just upheld by the Supreme Supreme Court is expanding Medicaid coverage to an additional 300 to 600,000 more people in our state. That is a thorn in the side of local doctors. Medicaid pays physicians about 38 bucks for an office visit. That's only a third of what private insurance pays. That's leading some doctors to limit the number of Medicaid patients they will accept. For much more on this story, we've linked it to the business section of ComoNews.com. Flying first class on international flights, get this guys, may soon be a thing of the past. Of the more than 500 aircraft U.S. airlines use that regularly fly to Europe, Asia, and South America, just 27% offer first class. And now American Airlines and United Airlines, the two U.S. first class holdouts, are downsizing as well their most lavish cabin space. First class basically uh, being replaced by an upgraded business class section. And by the way, uh, Nordy's anniversary sale mm -hmm. is underway. I'm You're told. not telling me anything I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> All the women in the newsroom were telling me that this morning, and I, I guess I should have known that, so the big anniversary sale. Yeah, I'm guessing you've shopped okay. there too. Oh yes, <laughs> yeah. I did, absolutely. I just didn't know it was the sale.